Assalamualaikum and good morning to Dr. and others. I am Afifa with my group member Adila, Anis, Arif and Shahida. We are from group 13. So we are supposed to do some improvement on the spotted bed dryers. So let's start with the introduction. So the spotted bed is a gas particle contactor in which the fluid jet is entered through a single nozzle at the center of the conical bottom at the bed. So as we can see in the diagram, there are one gas inlet at the bottom and then there have three region which is annular zone, spot zone and fountain zone. So the advantage of SBD it are it can be used for sens heat sensitive solid like food, pharmaceutical and plastic. The second one is it is efficient degree of fluid particle contact and the third one is the application include granulation, combustion, drying, coating and pyrolysis. So in this report, we are more focusing on alumina drying. So the first one is filler for plastic. The second one is in the di diamond industry, this is used as a less expensive substitute and the third one is manage the hydrogen waste gases. So we have three objectives. The first one is to identify current problems and disadvantages that occur with the use of spotted bed dryer. The second one is to study the effect of additional improvement added towards the SBD design. And the third one is to calculate and compare the energy efficiency of the new SBD prototype with the conventional SBD design. Next. <clears throat> Okay, so moving on to the literature review, there are many studies that have been made in the past regarding spouted bed and modified spouted bed. And according to uh, Mather and Epstein in 1974, the first spouted bed was recognized as early as 1950s. And then from there, gradually, more improvements have been found to increase the energy efficiency of the conventional spouted bed. Uh, in, two, in 2018, R.C. Brito and other researchers introduced the helical screw, um, which promotes the movement of particles and reduces the air velocity flow, therefore reducing the energy consumption of the drying process. And then in 2019, a research also made by R.C. Brito found that the MMSB reduced the air velocity by 50% in the drying of uh, alumina particles. Next. Okay, uh, moving on towards the issues of conventional SPDs. So, conventional SPDs has several issues and disadvantages that need to be addressed in the current industry. So, first and foremost, the SPD requires a, a high air velocity, which is which you can be seen from the GIF on the right, needed to form a spark. So this spout uh, requires, as, as I mentioned before, it requires a high air velocity and this will create a large energy consumption due to the large amount of air and the amount of heating needed to heat all the air. Next, another issue is the fact that in most conditions, the high air velocity does not necessarily achieve the optimum drying conditions and suitable fluid dynamics needed. Therefore, for the SPD design, uh, as an improvement, we would suggest the addition of a helical screw. So, the, a helical screw is basically a, type, a modified type of screw which is placed inside the SBD. Now, theoretically, this screw can help move the particulate matter inside the dryer instead of just relying on the high velocity airflow to mix the particulate matter. And so, this next slide will show how this helical screw looks. So, this screw is basically just like a normal screw except modified for the spouted bed dryer use. And this screw will be connected to the top of the SBD and will, have, will be further connected to a shaft and towards a motor which will move the screw. And it will hang down until it reach, almost reaches the entry point of the gas. So uh, moving on. So for this diagram, we can see the helical screw in action. So on the left is the SBD without the helical screw. And we can see here that uh, the mixing of the particulate matter inside the spouted bed dryer is, rely is reliant on the mechanical energy from the air spout, from the air, from the hot air coming from below. However, on the right, you can see that the, the helical screw helps give a uh, shaft work towards the particles. 
which help reduce the amount of mechanical energy needed by the uh, particulate matter to be properly dried and mixed. So this helps, as, as I mentioned before, this helps reduce the amount of air needed as well as reduce the energy consumption due to the high energy, high air velocity uptake. Okay, um, so this is our schematic diagram of purpose design. Uh, moving on to the uh, process flow. Uh, based on the purpose design, uh, the process flow begins with uh, ensuring the stability of the process under operating condition. Then a blower uh, provides a uh, required air flow. After that, uh, the air flow through heater will stop. Um, the heater is controlled by the temperature controller. And then the alumina is injected into the spouted bag with desired amount. The air is then supplied again and drying process will start. Um, inside the MMSP, where the helical screw is located, uh, it will provide a uh, sharp pull and movement of the particular particulate matter. Uh, so we attach a motor on top of the MMSP to provide rotation of the screw. Uh, so for the next slide, uh, comparison of the MMSP and the CSP, uh, based on the table 1, which is the operational condition, we can see that uh, when we use the helical screw, the inlet air velocity of the MMSP is lower than CSP. While for the next slide, uh, from this table, uh, we also can see that the presence of the helical screw can shorten the drying time of the alumina particles from 15 minutes to 25 minutes. Alright, we move on to the mass balance. So here is the equation uh, to use for mass balance, which is the parameter R, the air flow rate, the product flow rate, absolute humidity, and product moisture content. So, this is the comparison between um, the CSB and MMSB. Um, hence, from the calculation above, we can see that MMSB in the product moisture content after the drying is 0 0.00362 kilogram moisture over kilogram dry solid. And in a conventional spotter bed dryer, which is a CSB, is 0 0.41622. A kilogram moisture over kilogram dry solids. So as comparison between these two dryers, we can see that product moisture content after drying in the MMSB is lower than CSB. So thus, the rate of drying in MMSB is better than CSB. So we move on to the calculation of energy efficiency. Uh, so here, uh, Based on these equations, the energy efficiency is calculated for both bed dryers and being compared. So, um, in this calculation, we have QW, which is the energy required for the, to evaporate the water. We have a Q here, uh, which is the ratio of the total energy supplied to the system. We have a WM, the mechanical energy, the shaft work, and the time. So, uh, we calculate and then we manipulate. Uh, we multiply by 100%. So as we can see in the CSB, we have we do not have the sharp work which is 0 kilo, kilo per second because there is no insertion of helical screw. But the MMSB, um, we have the helical screw so there is amount of the sharp work. So uh, for the conventional spotted bed dryer which is CSB, the energy efficiency is 25.6% while in the installation of the helical screw uh, in MMSB, the efficiency of energy in the modified spotted bed dryer can be increased to 39%. So both of the dryers use huge amounts of energy at the start of drying process. Why? This is due to the high moisture content of the alumina particles at the initial phase of drying. So in conventional bed dryer, CSB, higher air velocity is needed to circulate the alumina particles in the uh, spouted bed dryer for the drying process. So hence, as mentioned above, uh, higher efficiency is obtained at the lower air velocity than decreasing the total supplied energy for the drying process. We move on. Okay, so as for the conclusion. Conclusion. Okay. 
Although the conventional spotted bed CSB have many advantages, we can conclude from this project that higher efficiency can be achieved by introducing the helical screw inside the modified mechanically spotted bed MMSB. And with the addition of the helical screw, it promotes the cyclic movement of alumina particles, hence lowering the air velocity needed in the drying process. Okay, and then based on our calculations, the drying process of alumina reached 39% energy efficiency compared to the 25.6% in the CSB. A continuation of study uh, of the drying of solids with broader range of sizes, shapes and characteristics is recommended to be made uh, to analyse and compare the energy performance of the MMSB and the CSB, which will bring um, a huge significance to the future of industrial processes. Okay, so um, this is the references of our project. And that is all from us today. Thank you very much for your kind attention. See you later. <laughs>